Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the table, which says you've been uh, you've got a lot of hard work ahead. So you'll be working pretty hard and it's going to do, uh, you know, getting back to basics. So you might be going back to study. Uh, or specialize in whatever you're doing, some further training coming in there for you. A lot of thinking, the feather always signifies, you know, uh, thinking, using, putting on your thinking cap, um, and also, you know, a lot of mental effort coming in over there, so you're going to be chained to your desk for a little while there, um, you know, something to do with paperwork, um, and also something to do with study as well, with that uh, quill coming in. A lot of writing, really. Uh, you've got the bread card over here, so a period of prosperity and abundance. So whatever new thing you're going to be doing, you're going to be working hard, and it's going to bring in the money and the abundance. I'll well, put bread on the table, really. So, uh, you know, some prosperity coming in there for you. Now, in the past of year, you've got a younger man, so dealings with relationships with a younger man. This could have been, uh, you know, maybe a friend, somebody you're working with. You've had some dealings with this particular person. And you feel as though something is lacking in your life, perhaps money, love, or goals. So, you know... Um, Whatever's been going on, you've been feeling a bit, you know, um, out of sorts, maybe um, not quite really uh, happy with that circumstance you're in, and you feel like something is lacking over there with that barrel card. So going into the future, you've got uh, the lobster card over here, so feeling the financial pinch over there. So there could be some uh, expense coming up for you, so be aware of that. Make sure you're, uh, you know, doing a good financial assessment, uh, making sure that you're monitoring your finances. But money is going to be coming in. Don't go crazy and spend too much of money. Uh, you know, make sure that you're um, uh, keeping a handle on your finances over there. And uh, you've got the grasshopper card, which says situations in balance that require careful handling. So, uh, you know, you could be dealing with something difficult that you're working with. Just tread very carefully. Also, as far as money goes, make sure that you're handling your money very, very carefully with that grasshopper card. Uh, you know, grasshoppers, uh, they can swarm, so they can eat fields uh up. So, you know, there could be uh, something uh, that can get out of control. Uh, so make sure that, you know, you are trading very carefully and being very, very um, precise, very, very uh, logical when you're dealing with something, whatever the circumstances. So it could be financial, but it could also be a circumstance in your life that you have to tread very, very carefully on and make sure there's some balance going on. Don't overindulge, in other words. Now, Virgo is not really a sign that overindulges, but uh, just a word of warning there. Okay, so those are the energy uh, cards for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Mona Lisa Tarot. Okay, so you have got the Five of Swords. So you have been dealing with some really, really difficult people, but you are not standing up for yourself. You can see this woman is standing up there and everybody's running for cover. Uh, she's created a drama there. Uh, so she maybe they, they pushed her too far and, uh, you know, she's had enough. And it looks like you know, she's got a hand up uh, saying, you know, uh, back off. So it looks like you're coming into your element. It seems like you're not going to be letting people walk all over you. You're standing up for yourself and you are, you know, raising the fires of hell there. So it looks like, you know, you're taking control of that situation. And you're getting people in um, on track. You're putting people in their place as well. So these people are running for cover. So it looks like, you know, they have pushed you too far. You may have lost your temper. Or there might be a circumstance where you're just, you have had more than you can take. And you are now not taking anything more. You are rising up from whatever the difficulty was, because there seems to have been a lot of drama. There's a lot of fire in this card. But you're coming into your own, really. And you're acting with a lot of confidence over there. So, you know, uh, you're taking charge of that situation and sorting these people out. Um, so what's coming in for you? You've got that Nine of Cups over there and the Six of Pentacles. So there's a new job offer coming in or there's a, uh, there's a promotion coming in, uh, something that maybe maybe puts you in charge here with that Five of Swords. Uh, you know, with the Swords cards, you're also about maybe signing new uh, documents as well, legal documents, new contracts. Um, but with this Nine of Cups, there's a lot of satisfaction coming in as well. So whatever this new job is, is going to give you a lot of satisfaction, going to bring in a lot of abundance, more apples than you can eat, 
really, uh, and uh, it looks like that money is coming in. The, the Six of Pentacles also talks about, you know, just monitor your finances, make sure that you are balanced as far as money goes. Uh, don't go uh, on a spending spree, really. Uh, make sure you are, you know, in charge of that finances. But whatever comes in is going to bring in a lot of money and give you a lot of satisfaction, give you more than enough abundance. So in the past, you've got the Five of Cups feeling very disappointed and uh, depressed about things that had happened. Uh, you know, there may have been some kind of, it could have been a death, because you've got this death of, death of this bird over here. Some Something uh, was lost, uh, you know, something very important to you that you cannot bring back. Uh, maybe a circumstance changed, a situation changed, maybe you've lost somebody, uh, you know, not necessarily by death, but, uh, you know, it could have been uh, you just walking away from an old relationship, uh, something that was very stable, uh, something that was very long term. It had built up over the years, and it seems like you were very, very upset and very disappointed at that particular loss. You're still, you know, it's been as though you've been mourning that loss. Now, you've got the Four of Cups coming in, so there have been some friends, uh, you know, getting together with people, but this is also about speaking your truth, so this person is standing up and telling everybody exactly what he thinks about things. Uh, so you're taking control, you're taking charge, you're getting uh, things off your chest as well. You could also be, you know, uh, getting together with friends, meeting up with friends, socializing quite a bit as well. So what's in your mind? You've got the Knave of Cups over here, so, so um, it looks like you may want to, uh, you know, further your career by studying. Uh, this is, you know, about learning something brand new, starting some something brand new. You've got that cup of water being, this child is being baptized. In other words, uh, you know, you, it looks like you want to start something, in, you know, uh, as far as study goes or further education goes. This woman's wearing a veil, so you haven't quite made up your mind. You're still um, uh, maybe doing some research into to those particular facts with this uh, knave of cups over there. You try to still find out uh, where, how far you want to go, what you want to do in the future. Now, you've got the Hermit card. It looks like you are going to be doing some study, uh, and you're going to be spending a lot of time by yourself as well. With that Hermit card, this is your card, and it looks like it's a card that's very focused on work, very determined, uh, doing something really inspirational as well, but also doing a lot of study. This card is ruled by Mercury. It's, it rules the mind. So this is about learning, uh, about teaching. So that could be that kind of job that you're uh, planning on doing. Now, you've got the two of wands over here. There's a decision that you need to make, um, you know, uh, maybe there's a job offer that is coming in and it's going, to, you know, it's one of these offers is usually, you know, reaching that fork in the roads, deciding which way to go, which path to, to take. This particular card has got these bulls pulling in um, opposite directions. So it seems like you have to make a decision, but you're torn between two options and uh, you have to decide where the abundance is coming in, where the money is coming in, because you want this cart to go somewhere. So you need to focus and decide what you want to do next, uh, you know, which bull you want to cut loose, so which job you want to leave behind. The bulls, you know, signify money, it signifies, uh, you know, Taurus the bull, uh, about personal growth, about personal finances. So you are facing some kind of choice right now about which pathway to, to go on that will bring the money and, uh, you know, move you forward in your career. So you've got the hangman. So you do feel as though you're being manipulated by people and circumstances around you. You can see this man's got these two puppets that he's controlling over there. Uh, so you do feel as though somebody's trying to pull the strings or trying to control you uh, in whatever you're doing. The hangman is about also things being a bit stuck and waiting for some kind of enlightenment to come in so that you can make that decision. So you're a bit, you're feeling a bit stuck right now, and you know you have to make some kind of decision about what you want to do. Now you've got the devil card over there. You're still feeling a bit manipulated. Something uh, about the circumstances manipulating you. Uh, you know the devil is about having control. So somebody is pulling the strings there. You could be dealing with a Capricorn person as well with this devil card, uh, in a in a sort of a negative kind of way, or where they're controlling things. But this is generally about feeling a bit negative about the circumstance, being, you know, expecting the worst case scenario. So you know, not uh, seeing the positive uh, in the circumstance. And this is just about your hopes and fears. So. So don't let your fears get the better of you there. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Knave of Wands over here, the Nine of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. So it's a lot of work. Uh, related cards here. You've got the Knave of Wands starting something brand new, so the new project you will be working on, or the new venture that you're doing, you will be working on. You're starting it up from scratch, and you are bringing it up. You will be raising it, you know, uh, from the ground up, really, whatever this project is. And you've got the Nine of Wands, so, you know, it's about working pretty hard 
uh, on that uh, particular job. So these people have been working hard to break this wall down to reveal the statue. You can see there's a lot of bricks and uh, uh, you know stones on the ground over here. And what they have uh, broken down, they, it's revealed something really beautiful. So you, whatever you're going to be doing in it is there's going to be problems. There's going to be blockages and obstacles that you're going to have to overcome. But you will be able to get through it. It looks like you're working with somebody. You're partnering off with somebody over there to help you through this uh, situation. And it's going to be very, very uh, beautiful whatever you produce so it's going to be very successful uh, but you're going to have to hang in there so it's going to take a lot of resilience uh, and a lot of determination to get the job done you've got the seven of wands over here so this is standing up for yourself so you might be uh, facing uh, people that are against you you can see this woman's defending this child so you need to defend your work uh, you need to defend whatever you built up so stand up for yourself definitely stand up for yourself um, and uh, you know against anybody who opposes you you will be victorious in it <coughs> With this uh, Seven of Wands, it looks like, you know, there's a, a lot of aggression in this card. Uh, so, you know, it, it's going to, you've got to, a lot of bricks to bring down here. So it looks like there are obstacles to whatever this project is that you want to start. Maybe people not agreeing with whatever you have got to say, but it's going to produce good results. But you need to stand up and defend yourself in that particular circumstance with that Seven of Wands. And don't uh, let yourself be bullied in other words. So this is a big bully coming up at this woman. Defend yourself and don't be bullied. So whatever you have, you're going to be focused on it and it is going to bring in the money. It is going to bring in uh, the wealth. And there's some kind of decision you have to make on how to actually proceed forward. Uh, so a lot of wands cards, so you're very, very work focused at this particular moment. Um, and, you know, you're trying to make things happen, really. And it looks like, you know, there could be some further study as well involved. Um, but very, very work-focused. Now, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, and I'm using the Animal Tarot cards as the Oracle read. The Wheel of Fortune, which says, expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. So you've got these apples over here, abundance falling at your feet, and you are now moving forward. Again, there's two um, elks, I think they are. Or reindeer, maybe. <laughs> and uh, they are moving forward. And it looks like there's somebody that's going to be helping you. So maybe you and somebody are working together in a project. You can see even here there is that support coming in for you. There are two people in this Nine of Wands card. So um, it looks like you know you and somebody else are going to be moving forward. And things are going to be changing now pretty quickly uh, for the positive. And you've got the High Priestess card. This is a card about learning, a new cycle beginning, a transformation. The Owl bringing in knowledge. Uh, this is a time to pause and reflect and not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from uh, your divine in intuition. So for me, this card really says that, you know, you are probably going to have to do some research. There's something that is hidden. It hasn't come to light yet. Uh, you have to do some research to find out how to proceed forward. You could be dealing in some kind of job where you're mentoring somebody, uh, you know, with the high priestess. It's about teaching. It's about knowledge. Or you could be going on and doing some kind of course to update your skill set as well. But definitely some kind of knowledge coming in. And it's going to transform. You've got that butterfly over here. It's also going to bring in a lot of stability, you know, so this is might be going back into the past, learning, studying, researching in order for you to move forward and get that information. And you've got the six of winter, which is definitely telling you you're out of that cage, new cycle beginning with that new moon over here. And this is the rescue cat. And this is challenging times are coming to an end. And you can now breathe a sigh of relief, let go of the past and embrace the happier times ahead. So this smooth sailing, moving away, getting out of that cage, uh, being independent because the cat is always about independent independence, using your intuition. Uh, this is in a, you know, the sail is, uh, you know, in uh, fully blown out there. So that, you know, you're being for, you've been given that wind, that gust of wind, that push in order for you to move for, forward. So, uh, you know, it looks like you're leaving in very difficult circumstances and this is now finished and you will now be able to move forward. So it looks like there's a lot of work focus. Uh, you know, defend yourself if there's any obstacles that you have to overcome. You are being very focused with this Virgo card. It could be learning, it could be studying, it could be teaching, but make sure you're standing up for yourself uh, and, you know, be a force to be reckoned with with this uh, Five of Swords. And everybody will flee um, because, you know, they, uh, they won't be able to take advantage of you anymore. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.